Good morning, how are you doing? Um, we're going to get on with changing the ribbon. We've removed the ribbon from this camera, uh, put the new velvet ribbon on with PVA. A few videos ago we did a test to see which was the best um, adhesive, best glue to use and the PVA one. So uh, I peeled it off yesterday, just going to pull it up, just going to lightly sand it, get the PVA on and get this thing sorted. Let's have a look. of videos ago we um, did some trials on the best glue to use for um, for this purpose for holding the ribbon in place right okay so PVA one um, I'm just going to coat this now I've not done this before directly onto a camera so the good thing all, is all this is clean. I cleaned it off when I pulled the ribbon off the other day. I think the um, I think the camera will enjoy having a bit of glue on it. This poor old thing needs um, could do with a bit of a service now. With a few rattly bits on it. Um, poor old thing. So I'm just evening it out over this. There's a radius on there. I don't know whether you can see it from where you are. I think you can see it pretty good. Um, and I'm trying to get the glue right into the corners where the edge of the ribbon on fabric, it's called the selvage. Um, I don't want the salvage to come loose really so I'm not going to stick it in straight away while it's wet I'm, I'm actually going to give it a chance to go a little bit tacky there you go come back in a minute as I say never done this before so let's see how we get on that's got to go into the so what I haven't done, so for starters, I didn't measure the um, the width of the ribbon. But luckily it looks like it's the same width. So that's good. Uh, if there is too much there, I'll just run a, run a knife down this back edge. I'll just get a very sharp knife. The forward edge seems to be going in nicely. That's not bad. I could actually do with a chisel with a bit of a, a rough edge. I'm just going to make sure none of the glue that's oozing out when I push it into that corner. I'm wiping it off because I don't want it to. Um, I don't want it to go on the velvet and dry and make this hard. The idea is that it's a nice soft um, it's a nice soft um, bead for the oh that's better look at that for the plate holder to go past I can't talk and do have you noticed? Sorry. I'm quite pleased with that.
bottom is the awkward bit looking at it. Don't know why. Right, that's that's all there. I'm gonna try and I'm still gonna mess with it. I'm gonna try and get that so that I'm happy with it. There's, I think because up here where this straight bit is, it's got a lovely round and the round isn't as isn't as round on the top and bottom. That's why I think you struggle with the top and bottom. So so now I know that if I felt that this was this area is much better than the bottom. I'd work on the bottom and tidy it up a bit more. Um, it is awkward. Here, you're going with the grain and it's easy. There, you're going against the grain from both ways. It's more of a carving job um, than a moulding job. So, I would look out for that in the future. But, for a first attempt, it's pretty good. He says, as he's not as happy with it as he was two minutes ago. You've got to stay in there. That's your job now. You're staying in there. Right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. That's not bad. That's not bad. Can you see? There you go. I mean, it's, it isn't as tidy down there as the reason I've just said. But, you know, up here, where, where really the light matters, the light matters more here and there to there than maybe right in the corner there and right in the corner there. Um, that's all right. Huh? Not bad. Right. Let that dry for 24 hours. Right, so once I'd got the ribbon done, I closed the, um, I closed this part of the camera, which is the focusing panel, and just turn that round, and that's kept the ribbon tight on there all night. Now I can open this up. So I've just got a bit of wax. I'm just going to rub on there. This is so that. It'll be a bit smoother going in. And it doesn't hurt to put wax all over these things. It doesn't hurt at all. It's good. Right, so we've got the new ribbon in there. And let's see just how... Brilliant. The ribbon's doing a good job. That's great. And turn it around, make sure it's... So as I say, this is the original. No surprises there, it fits, it works. I, I, I couldn't be happier the way the velvet just slides, just moves out the way. Um, it's, yeah, the important thing with this is to make sure you remove all the old glue, a little bit of sandpaper, remove all the old glue. Um, that, that uh, the top and bottom bit were tricky. I would clean those out a bit more in future, even if it means getting the chisel out and creating a new, slightly new, deeper channel for it, because that's where I had problems. That's why the video is a bit longer, so I apologise for that. But you're going to come up against the same sort of thing if you're sorting your camera out. So, uh, no, it's chuffed. It looks, I'm, I'm just, I can't get over it. Look, so pleased with it. So, anyhow, that's how to change the ribbon. Um, replace the ribbon. You can get the ribbon from Haberdashers for not very much money, a, a, a couple of pound a meter or something like that. It's worth doing. It's a small, it's quite a small job. You know, here we are, you know, a few minutes later and the uh, job's done and it feels smoother. Everything feels smoother, which means it's going to make your photography a bit smoother. So uh, good luck if you have a go with it. I hope the video's helped. Uh, more videos coming along soon. Buy me a coffee, guys. You know who you are. Your stars. And I, I can't thank you enough. So uh, 
Cheers. Next video coming along really soon. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Cheers.